Hi there, I'm Melissa from Washpool Farm Soapery. Uh, when fellas visit our soapery, naturally they're curious about our uh, shaving soap and how it performs. Uh, they get to um, see a demonstration from me in, in the store and I thought I'd do a quick one uh, so that our online clients can see um, exactly how the shaving soap works as well. So um, you need, do need to bear in mind that um, I'm not a shaving male so if I do anything that um, disturbs you in terms of technique I am sorry about that. Um, however my uh, interest very much is in creating a product that works for you guys and um, to that end we've hand rendered local uh, grass fed tallow and we've used very high proportions of that in this soap. It is um, low in scent because uh, we've had feedback in the past um, that men who've used our regular soap bars on their face have had some um, sensitivity to the essential oil. So we've kept the scent quite low. Um, we don't aim to compete with other uh, shaving soaps and creams and commercial products um, out and about. We don't um, hope to smell like cool water or Davidoff or anything else like that. What we're aiming for is a fantastic shaving product that produces a foam that's long lasting. Uh, we want the face to be comfortable and feel uh, moisturized and not dry when you're finished. And um, we're quite happy for the scent to be nice and low so that you don't feel any discomfort. So. As I said, bear in mind that uh, this is not my daily routine, but I'll do my best to explain um, or demonstrate for you how our lather works. Uh, I'm just using uh, like a very middle of the road badger um, bristle here. So nothing particularly special. Um, and I'm working with the shaving mug made by um, a local potter, Brooke Clooney. Uh, she produces this beautiful shaving mug for us that has um, these raised ribs on the inside here uh, that help develop a lather. Um, we set our shaving soap into two different um, containers. This um, amber glass, uh, you'll see, probably takes around 180 grams. I'll, I can confirm that. It's listed on our website and obviously the weight is correct on there. Um, I believe this one would be just under 100 grams. So I've set this into a PET jar. It's very hardy, it's a food grade jar, um, quite suitable for travel and lightweight and also a nice fit for the brush as well. So they're the two options um, in terms of uh, containers. Okay, so I'm just going to get a little water on my brush here. Um, I might go with I might go with the PET jar. I know it's a nice fit, so and I also think it's possibly better for you to see uh, what's going on. So um, as you can see, <laughs> the brush loads up very quickly. Uh, we've designed our formula to be roughly halfway between a solid and a liquid. So the purpose of that is to create um, a type of soap that is easily soluble. So that's what we're going for there. Now, if you were a face um, latherer, you could go straight to your face now with this lather. I'm sure that there's enough loaded on there that you could go right ahead and put that onto your face. Um, if you're a bowl latherer, then you just take that loaded brush and work up your lather in your bowl. Okay, even um, at this stage, you can see that we have developed a beautiful, uh, tight, creamy lather there. Um, there is no big bubbles at all. It is just nice, tight, um, stable lather. We know from experience that if we sit this for uh, many minutes, I've been called away during demonstrations, I can sit this for many minutes and it will hold its lather without um, the bubbles decreasing or, or bursting. So that gives you a bit of an idea how our shaving soap performs using our shaving bowl and as I said a very middle of the road badger um, hair brush. So thank you very much for watching.